Winchester. Well, the Grammy Award winners of Winchester the Cathedral. Brilliant. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> um, OK, on to the weather now. Alexis is here. It was absolutely awful today, Alexis. Yes, very soggy today. But we've had some lovely weather pictures despite the rain. Um, this picture of a red kite was photographed today in West Berkshire. But the fairly grey skies at Sandown on the Isle of Wight were photographed by Sparrow one of our weather watchers. So as we head through the night tonight, we're expecting some very heavy rainfall. There is a Met Office warning in force during the early hours of the morning until six o'clock tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is a day of outbreaks of rain, some showers dotted about, brisk winds as well from the southwest, but some bright and sunny spells breaking through. Now there is that Met Office rain warning in force is valid until six o'clock tomorrow morning. We could see some localised flooding from the heavy rainfall expected overnight tonight. And this is the band of rain skirting its way north and east with some heavy bursts on that followed by spells of rain and showers moving in from the southwest on that brisk southwesterly wind now that wind with the rainfall could gust up to 40 miles per hour particularly for coastal stretches with temperatures tonight dropping to around 9 to 11 celsius so a relatively mild night to come now tomorrow further spells of rain can be expected during the morning for the southeastern corner a few showers will start developing and here they could potentially be thundery but there will be some brighter spells breaking through during the afternoon. Some decent spells of sunshine, still brisk southwesterly winds, which will ease a touch tomorrow afternoon with highs of 11 to 12 Celsius. So temperatures are still well above the seasonal average. For the coastal forecast, the winds are south or southwest, five or six, decreasing two to four, and the sea state is moderate or rough. So tomorrow night, a few showers are a possibility. It's a lot quieter than tonight. It should be mainly dry, a few clear spells developing areas of cloud drifting in from the southwest, and temperatures will be a little bit lower than tonight down to around five or six celsius so looking ahead to saturday we will see dry conditions to start the day a few showers now there is a, a little bit of uncertainty about this weather front creeping up towards eastern parts of the region as we head through the afternoon the further west you are the drier the conditions with some sunny spells so we'll see some sunshine on saturday but there is actually a flood warning in fact it's for parts of Abuli, a severe flood warning Village roads could be affected tomorrow up until midday. So you may have trouble accessing the village with the high waters, with the high tides. Some unsettled conditions over the next few days. Over the weekend, sunshine and showers. Later on Sunday, it turns drier and also brighter. Guys, I've got this really lovely video for oh, you. Okay. It's a murmuration. Okay. It's in Bower Chalk in Wiltshire. Look wow. at this. What do you think? Fantastic. Oh, it's poetic. Taken by Andy <laughs> Weeks. He said they've, they've been around for several weeks. Wow. That's absolutely mesmerising, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Isn't it? Go on forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. and, and that's happening every night, is it? Well, it's been happening for several weeks at his house in Bowerchalk, yeah. But um, obviously, I don't know if they're there this evening because it's been quite wet, but this was taken the other evening. Fantastic. Well, thanks for sharing that, Sir Andy. Brilliant. And, and if you have any similar videos, please do share them with us here at South Today. Well, that is it from us. Tomorrow, how the Isle of Wight is marking 175 years since a global superstar lived there for the summer. I'm talking about Charles Dickens, and there's a lot happening. Alan's here with the Let News at half past ten, but from us, good night. Good night. Good night.